Hi, so I just took the Acquia Drupal site builder test and I wanted to get my reaction while it was still super, super fresh. Super, yeah. It was a little harrowing just because, um, so there's a lot of complaints in the community about how there's so many like, it could be right answers on the multiple question, multiple um, choice questions. And it is all multiple choice. Some stuff you have to like select more than one answer or some stuff you just kind of select the one answer like the radio button versus check boxes, that kind of thing. Um, I had a lot of issues when I first started the test because my, um, my video camera kept turning off. And it turned out, and this is just a tip for any of you that have an external uh, webcam, um, the Logitech one, you have to actually go to Logitech's website and download the, the software. It's like Logitech, um, I will find it for you in one. I can hear somebody delivering diapers. All right, so you actually have to go to Logitech's website. If you've got a Logitech camera, an external Logitech camera, it won't work with their, with their software. You have to have like Logitech stuff. So what you wanna do is go to Logitech.com, go down to, I gotta move my Zoom interface here. You gotta go down to solutions or support, I'm sorry, support and downloads. And once you get to this page, you gotta go all the way to the bottom and then click on download and apps, downloads and apps, excuse me. And then you gotta go all the way to the bottom Keep going and keep going. You gotta get to Logitech webcam software. There it is right there. So download this sucker and install it. And it's gonna already see that you already have Logitech installed because you probably just plugged this sucker in and it worked, right? No, 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 you need the actual software. <laughs> For some reason, um, like initially they told me that it was my firewall that was doing it, um, which I had Norton's installed so it has like a firewall set up and then I had to disable Norton's and I had to, um, uh, try a couple of other things. I had to check my connection and all this stuff. And then so it started with the connection, then it went to Norton's being the issue with the firewall. And then it went to, no, no, we're seeing this a lot. You have to go download the Logitech webcam software. So that's what I did. And it worked immediately after that. So I would tell you before you even go take your test, go download the software. You can always uninstall it later. Just save yourself a headache because I spent literally 25 minutes back and forth with tech support trying just to, just to start my test. Like I would get one question in and then the proctor would disable my test immediately because there was no video feed for them. So, which makes complete sense, but I couldn't take my test. <laughs> so um, it was just kind of a hassle. Like I really kind of wish I'd figured that out beforehand, you know? So yeah, when you, when you first go to and take, take the test, like when you sign up and everything, do all this stuff ahead of time, you know, uh, disable your Norton's, disable if you, or whatever your security software is that you have for your firewall. Um, is uh, go ahead and install the Logitech camera software, but also make sure you go ahead and do your biometric profile. When you get your when you get your email with your test information in it, it will take you to a page, and on that page you'll have like two steps on the right hand side. The second step is making sure that you set up your biometric profile. Basically, what that is is it's um, first thing you have to install Sentinel, which is the software that they use to make sure you're not cheating. And then you'll create your biometric profile, which is like take a picture of your face and they see how fast you type and that kind of thing, right? And they, they do a general assessment of your computer to try to catch you cheating. Um, and then you do that and then you're good to go, right? But I would just caution you get the technical stuff done first because even, even though I did that, I still ran into technical problems that took 25 minutes of time that I had spotted to take my test. And so as a result, my test was kind of rushed because I have to jet, I have to be out the door here in like two minutes to go take, take care of my kids. So it kind of ended up being a pressure thing. And I ended up having to do phone support with the guy um, and he was very kind and he was like, no, we can reschedule this. You don't have to take this right now if you're up against it. I'm like, no, no, I want to get it done. I really want to get it done this week. And, and I did get it done and I did fail but I failed by four percentage points and that's it. So for not being really clear on what was on the test initially, I didn't fail by that much, you know, it's still, it's only a 68% passing rate, but I got, I came darn close. And now I know the parts I don't know, you know, and that was the biggest problem with all this stuff. Like I have to kind of complain to Aquia a little bit that their video like presentations on the things you should learn and the things you should know is very dated. 
it's like four or five years old. And that was like going to Acquia's stuff and then linking from that out to their training software. Like it's four or five years old. I mean, we're about to get on Drupal 9 here and all this stuff is still there. And granted, most of it is still relevant, but there's, all of it is how to's. Like none of it puts you in like a scenario base like get you thinking in that mode. So when you go to take the test, it's all scenario based. It might tell you that. So I'm not telling you anything that they haven't said that. I mean, that is in some of their webinars that they have that are four years old, but it's, it's so scenario based that I had to think, well, I could do it this way, but I could also do it this way. And then like bringing me back to the initial problem was, is that there were multiple right answers for many, many, many of the questions. So I'm sure on many of these questions, I just selected the answer that was most right to me, but it wasn't the most right to them because they're the question writers, right? So it was very hard to be put in their shoes and try to figure it out. Um, I really wish that they had talked about having putting out a practice test in their four-year-old video, and I couldn't find that anywhere. So I don't think one exists. And that's kind of disappointing because I feel like if I had taken a practice test of scenario questions, I would have been more prepared for how they think. So I probably would have made different choices when I took the test. But now I have the experience and I've taken the test and I know what to look for. So that's it for now. I gotta run and get my kids. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, like and subscribe. It does help me grow my channel and I do appreciate it. Thanks so much.